What is up guys, it's Ego Goma for Life here. True Grinders, I missed you guys, but in this first video, let's get it started. It's gonna be a Defend the Capital video. We're gonna be taking on Heath. We're gonna be doing all of the rankings. Um, I'm gonna use two teams to show you guys for the Wizard King level. Um, I know the ranking already passed and it's no point in really doing a video, but if you're new to the game or you hope to start the game, this is a little guide to show you guys basically how to defeat, um, you know, Heath. And we're gonna run through it on all levels, um, no matter the power or whatever. I know I'm extremely strong enough to do it, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna start a beginner. And basically my, um, sh my tips for you guys when doing this is speed and power. That's how you take them out. Uh, you want to take him out before he seals your arcane arts, or you can use a formation that, you know, prevents him from sealing it, or a character that can prevent him from sealing it. Obviously, there's characters that can do that, and formations. But what you want to do is, you want to primarily just, if you could avoid it, take him out before all that even happens. And to do that, you're going to need a team like this, um, or similar, just pure attackers that can get, you know, speed boost, crit boost. And that's what Leo's there for, the crit boost. Uh, the new spirit dive, you know, is there because perfect showcase because he actually increases attack and speed and his AOM increases attack based on the amount of participants for a good amount. He's really good and he lowers their speed. Um, these are the relics we're running. Um, this is my OP team. Um, it could be better. I have other you know units and stuff but this is going to be the team we use to clear the easier levels. And the second team for you guys that probably don't have all of those units, I bring a team that's a little bit more friendly um, with these characters and if you don't have them, you can always comment down what units you do have. Or what units you don't have that i can help you replace because this is honestly isn't really that hard so the first team is going to be the the team i recommend is get you a bunch of attackers leo as a captain for crit just so you can take out he faster um and then you want to do people that do aom charlie's a one-on-one -on -one, but she's super strong um so is black oster he's a one-on-one -on -one. so those two could be rearranged for like mary leona for oster because her, her arcane art attacks everybody um and you know so you can take out uh, Charmy for the, um, you know, um, that does the the wind shower blades. But moving forward, um, this is our attack team, and this is our de this is our more defense team. I want to say um, Mars he was free to get, Kahano was easy to get, Charmy's easy. Uh, Mary Leona her banner is passed, and so has the uh, Mary Leona and White. But it's okay. Um, there are two units again that you can replace with Leo and replace with Black Asta or anybody else. Um, so we're going to get started in the video. And the key to the video is super easy, super easy, super, super easy. Um, as you guys see, it's going to start. Um, the formations we're using when you're trying to just, you know, do the offensive way. Kobe Shark is amazing. Look how quick that was. Um, I should actually, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to do a formations video to show you guys my favorite formations and why and basically how formations work and things like that to think about when you're using particular characters but for this one this is going to be the second stage and it's super easy he just adds a few more units with him and we're done now the formations we're using for the um, formation switch is going to be sky blue star because that um, helps you get your red drum drop rates faster for your AOM, which we have Leo, so he's going to give us a crit boost, which is needed. And then it also increases your blue drum drop rate. <clears throat> um, just to show you guys real quick, the formations, Kobe shark, our attack and speed is really nice in this formation. So that's why we're using it. Um, and we can inflict slip, which we're not really focused on that part of it for. Um, our second formation is the Sky Blue Star, which you can get from Sister Liddy. It's like for Go uh, Salamander for Goleons. See, the red gem drop rate is at 1.5, but she also increases the blue gem drop rate. Um, you can use it three times. So it's like a, a less padded version than his if you didn't get a chance to pull Salamander for Goleon. So you can use Sister Lilies like I do, and it's really great. So, in the next stage, you see his HP is a little bit better. And they're not really hitting that hard. I mean, if you have the right relics and stuff, this should be super easy. And we could use AOM here, just to finish off one of them.
So again, as you can see, a group of attackers works well. We took on one, two, and three. Now we're gonna go to Grand Knight. And this is the seven stamina one, but we're gonna be perfectly fine against it. So now what we're gonna do is switch into this mode for a reason, right? So we can get our blue gems to get all of our blue gems up. Our attack has just risen, right? Once you get that attack boost, you wanna make sure you use the AOM and a formation where all of your participants is getting that free crit. And then you can just wipe everybody else out with the AOM. So that's my tactic. I'll wait to you, Leo's crit once you know activates his attack and speed that way you're getting as much attacks off with that attack buff the speed buff and leo's crit buff and you can use the aoms so that's how i try to plan it out um what you should actually do at the start is switch into that into your second formation that can give you the extra red gems and stuff because that way you're farming a lot earlier before he has a chance to get off anything so we're going to start off regular switch to our mode Just let we're gonna let our blue gems gather up, then we'll switch back. All we're doing is waiting for Yuno to activate his, his buff, and once he does, we'll be good to go. Just gotta wait for it. We don't want Asta to die though. If we have to whittle numbers, we'll whittle some numbers down. But it, it, again, it all just relies on, you know, once, even with Asta, as you can see, we're still blowing through all of this. And this is without Yuno's buff. So with Yuno's buff, those units in the back would have been long, long dead. He's done. And hmm, look at that. Done. Um, could have been way cleaner. I don't know what was wrong with my Yuno. He was he was stalling on us. I don't know why Yuno was was being a troll for the video. But um, there you guys have it, that's Heath. Now using the second team, um, if you guys don't have oh, like powerful units that could just push through like that, then it's okay to bring in units like this. And I actually think Mary Leona is a better fit for this because of her AO, uh, <laughs> AOE special, because she's gonna be hitting multiple enemies very hard. But this is just to show you that I'm more regular team. And the reason why we have this setup is because we have, boom, as you can see, they got off attack, speed, and critical, and an extra attack. And then we activate AOM. Just nice damage. Mars is a great defensive support when he jumps in the front. So the secret for this team is you, you're basically a zombie with this team. Kahano is one of the greatest healers. Charmy has, can heal herself with a, with a move. Mars can heal himself. And this is where it just becomes GG. This team is actually looking a lot better than my speed team that I promised you in the practice videos. It wasn't like that. And we don't want to activate Mary Leona's ability yet because we want to make sure that, you know, that rise of blue gem drop rates, we use it with our AOM. That's the secret to her, but we'll do that in character breakdowns. So once you get, once you have an AOM on backup or you get one, you can activate her special. Cause then after that, it's just GG's.
Somebody just finish him. There you go. And that's Heath basically using two different teams. Um, I don't think the only unit that repeated in both teams was Charmy, who again is replaceable. Her and Black Oster, honestly, you don't really even need them for these. They don't even do AOM. I mean AOE, so I would I would recommend bringing characters that can, or that may you know cause a little bit more debuffs. I mean Charmy has one, and that's Heath. If you guys have any questions, if you need help making teams, any help substituting units or finding a unit that might be helpful to you, or any formations, always feel free to comment down in the video down below, and make sure you guys have a nice day.